Okay, any questions on this so far? No? Okay, so now let's do a small exercise on this simulating a pendulum. So that's, that exercise is going to give us a little bit of uh, a uh, um, prerequisite in understanding the second term. So we already know the first term that uh, uh, you can do zero stability analysis. We already know how to derive the last term by doing, doing Taylor series analysis. So let's give some example of what the second term actually is by looking at the pendulum. So the task is the form groups of two or three and they derive what ordinary differential equation should I solve for this. So that's one. And two is come up with a, a numerical scheme for solving the equation using two schemes, forward order and midpoint rule. All right. So I have one of these uh, submissions. And uh, let's go to our lecture four folder and uh, make a new file. So pendulum. Oops. All right. So <clears throat> we have a uh, uh, wait. So okay, so I have this. Uh, is which one is forward order? So the top is you start with forward order. Uh, yeah, there. There is forward order. Yeah, and then you move forward after. Uh, okay. We, yeah, we we wrote it like the other problem use forward Euler for the first step and then midpoint after that. I see. Okay. So sure. Then then uh, I'll implement the forward order. So the forward order is going to be. Uh, so there are two variables here. One is theta, one is theta dot, right? So they converted the second order OD, which they derived into a system of two first order ODs. So there are gonna be two variables. So theta, uh, so let's start with uh, just the uh, one. Uh, it's gonna be a large angle, right? One rating. Theta dot is equal to, what do you want? Zero. Okay, zero, don't make it too dramatic. Uh, so then, for every step, t goes from 0 to dt to, let's solve it to 10, all right? And uh, uh, what dt do you want? 0 0.01, okay? And uh, uh, for every step, okay, so we have uh, gravity g, and uh, what would you like the length of the pendulum to be? 1 meter, okay. One, good, good, good. So now uh, my first equation is uh, my next uh, theta is uh, going to be, let me say, this is my previous theta. I'm just going to add one more term onto this. Well, let me see. Next theta is equal to what? Uh, theta at the end uh, plus theta dot at the end times dt, right? So that's, did I implement your scheme correctly? Dot is equal to, what do I have here? I have a, a theta dot end plus what? Um, you have an f, okay, so f is, what is your f? Oh, okay. So yeah, so you actually have minus, right? G divided by L times sine theta. Uh, theta end, right? Okay. Is that is that right? Anything I'm doing wrong here? Then I'm going to theta equal to theta. Uh, next, theta. Theta dot is equal to theta dot. Next, theta dot. Okay. Done. So let's see your forward order solution. Uh, I'm just going to be what? Uh, let's say plot. Oh, I need to minus dt here just to make sure I have the correct. And uh, theta. Okay, so I'm just uh, plotting 
your evolution trajectory here. Uh, is it running? Uh, that's that's your solution. It's a it's a very powerful pendulum. So started uh, started with zero. It's going down and then going up. All right. Uh, so what can we do here? What's happening? Can we decrease the time step? Good question. Let's try that 10 times smaller to see what happens. All right. Uh, did, did it blow up even bigger? It looks actually slightly better. Is a second. So okay. So here is a uh, one of the things. Um, uh, the first observation. So let's, for example, just uh, integrate to one. All right. Uh, integrate. Even one doesn't quite work. Uh, oh, did I forget actually dt times here? Right. So that that I think will fix the fix the most of the problem. Okay, so that's that's my mistake. You didn't uh, implement the scheme any wrong. Okay, so now now we have the uh, integration to be pretty well. Okay, so we are using forward over here, and uh, uh, what is uh, is there any part of the behavior that didn't look correct? Yeah, it's good. The oscillation is growing, right? It's energy. Somebody said about energy conservation a little bit earlier for double pendulum. Yeah. Same thing happens for single pendulum. Energy doesn't seem to be conserved. And if I integrate to a little bit further, a hundred, maybe we'll see the result a little bit more dramatically. So same behavior, just that I well I didn't uh, expect it. So so when I refine the mesh, uh, refine the time step, I I expect this to be actually better, right? So so the Dunquist uh, equivalence theorem gives us that local order of accuracy is the same as global order of accuracy. So that means as I refine the time step, I should actually get a smaller global error. Uh, 